Hello, um, a question on Facebook and in the discussions in the Discord app has prompted me just to try and make a, a very quick video just to point a few things out. That's in regards to antenna for the walk snail system. A few things that people I think don't quite understand and the, the implications of not understanding that. So um, I just thought I'd make a quick video um, to try and uh, relay some of my findings. So the first thing is walk snail has four antennas. One of them transmits only and three of them receives. So in my case, this one up here is my ant one, my antenna one. All it does is sends out a signal to the VTX. It's the checks and balances um, antenna. The other three, ant two, three and four, receive only. So they just take information from the VTX. They work together as a system, but there's uh, a quirk, I suppose, in how they work with each other. So basically, if you're flying, for example, and you cover any of ant two, three, and four, what will happen is your bit rate will drop, but your system will continue to work. If, however, you cover ant one, and the checks and balances, the, the, the kind of the, the handshake can no longer happen, regardless of whether these three are covered or not, the system will stop you'll lose your video. So it's important then that when you're flying, that your ant one is pointing at the craft at all times. And therefore you will need at least one of the other antennas to be pointing at the craft at all times. The number that you can get pointed at the craft will determine what bit rate you have. So if I have all four pointing exactly at my craft, and say for example I'm only a kilometer away, then I'll get 25 megabits. If I was to cover two of them, it'll suddenly drop to 14. If I was to drop more, it'll drop further. So that's something that, that I think people need to bear in mind, and I think it's the root of a lot of pe uh, issues that people have in regards to rains and, de uh, uh, and penetration. And I think for me personally, it stems from using Omni antenna on Ant 1 and Ant 2. Previously I made a video where I did have Omni antennas. Having uh, since done more testing, I'm now moving to using patch antennas. Currently what I'm running here are my 9.4 triple feed patches up here and 8.5 dB down below. Now what that'll actually mean is as I fly further away and my 8.5 dB patches go out of range, my bit rate will drop to 14. So straight away, I understand with the setup that I have here, that if I was to fly, for example, 15 kilometers, my bit rate isn't going to be as good as it could be. Therefore, what I should be doing is running four of exactly the same uh, antenna on there. But by having these smaller ones in here, and I've only done that really out of convenience more than anything, I know, I understand, I'm accepting that I'm going to have limited bit rate at distance. And I think this translates into penetration for people flying bandos as well. If you have stronger DB antennas all pointing towards where you're flying behind the wall, it's going to give uh, the bit rate the best chance of staying as high as possible. So uh, why do I not run Omnis then? Because they can see everywhere. Is that not better? I don't think so. Because running an Omni on Ant 1, for me, sacrifices a lot of your directional... Basically, you, you'll run an Omni because you want to fly behind you sometimes. But I don't think it's worth having the Omni on there for that rare occasion that you do fly behind yourself. Patches can still see behind them, not as much as they can see in front, but they can still see behind. And generally speaking, you're going to be flying in front. And if you do fly behind, you're probably not going to be flying as far behind as you would be in front. So I think it's probably better moving forward to stick with patch antennas across the board. Try and get your patches to be as closely related to each other par wise as possible. Yeah, so that's just a quick off the top of my head, thoughts on antennas. 
use patches. Ant one is your is your main linchpin, I suppose. If you lose it, you lose everything. So that's the one that you want to have focused on your plane or your or your quad. If you're able to focus this one on your craft, then there's no reason why the others can't be focused on the craft. So have all of your antennas on the same plane pointed at the craft and it should give you the best results going forward for range and for penetration. Okay, thank you.